What's up everybody? Back down here on the Battle Civic and this week we are going to start uh, assembling the rear end. So today we're going to do the S1 built stuff. We're going to try and get the uh, trailing arm mounted and in place here and then uh, start looking at the diff mount and hopefully get it installed as well. So here's the all-wheel drive kit from S1 built. Go ahead and uh, I guess cut to a little montage of opening this stuff up and then uh, we'll see what all we got. Well, there's the whole kit, tray arms, diff mount, all that stuff. So first thing we're gonna do is get this gas tank out of here. Been hopping up there and disconnecting the the pump and lines and stuff. We got two uh, 12 millimeter bolts right here for the straps. Disconnect this stuff underneath the seat, and then it'll come right out. All right, so here's our setup for the diff mounts there and there. These are the factory bolts. Uh, S1 actually sent new bolts. I just got those ones there for now holding it together. And then you have this bar that runs across. That welds together. And then that welds together. You got one on each side. And then the bar gets welded to that. But we've got to cut out right here. Went ahead and marked it up. So this piece right here mounts uh like where your lower control arms go. So this piece mounts up like that in those bolts right there. And the uh, the bracket right here hits on the back side. You can kind of see where it's kind of messed up the undercoating. So this section has to get chopped out. Grab the angle grinder, chop that out, start bolting stuff together. See, I just chopped that little tunnel out, but you're not really going to be able to get to a bolt. So I'm probably going to have to cut like some more out in the sides to get a little access. I'm trying to keep this as much intact as possible. But since we're going to be doing a uh, lift kit on this, we're actually going to drop the diff down from this. So maybe we can get away with this uh, tight gap here. But if you're not doing a lift kit, you're probably going to have to cut a little bit more. The, uh, the actual diff part take some welding. Like I said earlier, you, know, you gotta weld this stuff together. So, I'm gonna get the uh, trailing arms in. So, S1 sends the uh, lower control arms with the kit. Nice time joints and stuff. Nice build arm and then a stock 250,000 miles trip. There's uh, there's a lower control arm. That is sick. That is so cool. It's got so much adjustment in it. Okay, uh, I gotta get the 
the toe arm from the factory stuff. So I'm gonna get that ripped off the factory trailing arm and get it set up on the new trailing arm. And then we'll uh, install the trailing arm. Okay, got that toe arm thrown on here. Got this piece put in for the uh, trailing arm bushing. This is a really nice heavy duty bushing in there. I guess it's a hind joint too. But uh, yeah, slap this thing in there. There we go. Oh, that's a cool shot. There we go. Oh boy. Bolt us one cent. Oh, yeah. Remove the factory stuff. Yeah, I guess we don't have to use this factory bolt. There we go. No, very nice. Looks good. HRG lift kit uh, came with an adjustable one. So we'll throw it on there. Here's our HRG uh, control arm. Okay, that's obviously not the right bolt. <laughs> <laughs> it's sticking out. <laughs> Tighten up everything else, and then we'll come back to that. So I'll see y'all in just a second. All right. Well, I got that in there. Uh, just had to adjust the uh, control arm down here, and then I adjusted this one out also, and then everything lined up fine. So I guess we're gonna leave this one off right here, and uh, pick it up tomorrow. All right. So went ahead and got the other trailing arm thrown in here. Uh, Ben's always behind the camera and doing that kind of stuff and he wanted to turn a wrench today so we actually had him install this side. He never done anything like that before so that was pretty cool. Get to learn some stuff. But uh, our buddy Casey came over and pointed out that all of this stuff is stainless and it all needs to be welded together to make the diff mount work. And a uh, Harbor Freight flux core welder is not going to cut it for this. So we're kind of at a standstill for this part right here, but I guess it kind of works out because we can kind of do a detailed look at exactly what it takes for these uh, rear trailing arms. So they are from S1 built and they, uh, they're they designed to run the CRV axles in the back and still retain four by 100. And then these lower control arms come with the kit. But yeah, the trailing arms are pretty basic. It's uh pretty much just like how the stock ones are. I mean, it's OEM design. So the same way they come off, that's one stuff goes back on. They made it really nice and simple. I guess that's gonna be all for this week. We're actually gonna drop the car down now and Casey's gonna show us a couple of things on how to do like uh, some body work and stuff. But that would be for a different video for like all the full body work and everything on this car. But anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week for another one. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe.